taking a look today at a variety of baffles that I made for a three inch diameter side pipe. I've got, as you can see here, roughly a 32 inch long straight section of uh, side pipe. And for a muffler, originally, and I painted this white to show the detail, originally I took a, a two inch uh, diameter piece of uh, exhaust pipe and attached to it this piece of a header collector so it funnels into the the two inch diameter and then it's a series of what I'll call half scoops they don't scoop all of the exhaust into this space they scoop about half of it and then followed by a reverse scoop my thinking was that the exhaust some of it would be forced into the space and then get sucked back into the main flow by these reverse scoops. So the whole length is like scoop and then reverse scoop. And it used to be just one piece of pipe. And when I finished it, it was very loud. And I figured that exhaust and sound was just getting between the pipes and traveling to the end. So I divided it into three sections with these washers in between so the exhaust at every washer is forced to get back inside the pipe. I also changed the orientation so these scoops aren't lined up with these scoops and then it goes back to the original and this prevented me from simply looking in one end and seeing all the way to the other. So that quieted it down quite a bit but these had an annoying wrap if the engine revved way up like after a hot start as it slowed back down these had a, an annoying wrap and I saw it a different baffle construction. The first thing I tried was this where with a one and a half inch I'm sorry a three one and three quarter inch diameter uh, tube I made a full scoop that a hundred percent of the exhaust is forced into the space and then to get out it has to flow through these holes and it's on its way. And as an aside, many of these when I install them I include some steel wool figuring there's sound bouncing around in here that I can attenuate. So this uh, was louder than I expected. Maybe I included too many holes and it also had a odd metallic clicking sound on the the overrun. So if the engine was revved up as it slowed down I don't know if this was making the ticking sound or failing to quiet the ticking sound but it was very noticeable which led to this design where again it's one and three quarter inch uh, tube with a full scoop the exhaust travels between the pipes and then to get out it goes through this reverse scoop and a little steel wall so this had a good sound I was pretty happy with this and continue to be but I wanted to try something with a, a reverse flow. I found this uh, one and a half inch diameter antenna mast and I hope I don't regret someday uh, sacrificing it for this project. But the exhaust is forced inside the one and a half inch diameter pipe. Then it has to turn around get into this pipe to get out. And this was uh, a pleasant sound and the most quiet of all these designs. It was pretty difficult to build. It has to be well aligned for all of this to slide inside the pipe. These had to be squeezed down to and welded together uh, to fit inside the three inch pipe. And since the in and out on this is uh, one and a half inch it's probably and plus the, the the reversion it's probably the most restrictive but I don't have any exact measurement of that the last one I tried is really just a shorter version of that it's got the scoop and the reverse scoop they're a hundred percent the exhaust has to get into this space and then go back but put them close together this is 18 inches overall 
and uh, I really like this sound. I think it's got a little more bark than this one. And by the way, uh, I failed to point out this whole length of tube is not doing anything. The exhaust can't get inside here. And the thoughts crossed my mind to put holes in it. It would act as like a reverse glass pack. So I might try that someday. Uh, getting back to the whatever I was talking about. So this one, uh, 18 inches long. If I made another one 12 inches long, I could put two in a row inside the side pipe and see what that sounds like. Uh, before I close here, I'll show how these fit. And I almost hesitate to give this idea away for free, but every one of these has a small washer and a big washer. So the small washer will slide inside the pipe, but the big washer cannot. And then when I put the outlet on, it's trapped. It doesn't travel down to here because the big washer is stopped where this diameter changes. So I can pretty rapidly take that off and try different configurations. I don't know if I pointed out, I painted some of these white to show a greater detail. Uh, it's kind of an overcast day. And especially this one, uh, with the blackness of having run for a thousand miles, uh, no detail was, was showing in the video at all. So I painted this one in its entirety, and just a moment ago, uh, painted the scoop aspects of these, only so it would show in the video. So that's my story for today. Thanks, and be sure and watch my other videos.